Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today I wanna to quickly show you how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire TV device. Now this can work on a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or even your Fire TV television. So this is gonna be five simple steps, shouldn't take more than five minutes. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Before we jump into it, let's just get the comments out of the way. Jailbreaking, sideloading. What you're doing here is installing third-party applications on this device. So whatever term you choose to use, at this point, it is what it is. You're sideloading applications on this device. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So step one, what you're gonna do is go to your Amazon store and you're gonna search for the downloader application. Cool thing with this is you can either use your voice remote or you can just go ahead and type it in. So we're gonna search for downloader. All right, so I already have downloader. That's what you're looking at right there, big orange icon. You cannot miss it. So once you install downloader, we're gonna go ahead and enable developer options. So this was a recent change on an Amazon Fire TV. You had to go and you had to do some extra steps to get developer options enabled. So what you're gonna do to get this enabled, you're gonna go to your settings, you're gonna go to My Fire TV. All right. So on this page, normally this is where developer options is, but as you can see, it goes from about to legal and compliance to sleep to restart, no developer option available. So what you're gonna do here is, so what you're gonna do here is click on about, and where it says on my Fire TV, what you wanna do is tap the OK button seven times. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it should now enable developer options. This was a recent change, which caused a lot of panic uh, when it comes to Fire TV Stick. Once you enable developer options, gonna click on it, and um, you do have ADB debugging, which not necessary, but I normally turn it on. Some apps require it. When you think about mouse toggle or something like that, uh, you're gonna need it for this to work properly. You wanna go to install unknown apps. Click on that. And now you can see the applications on your Fire TV that can install applications. So Explorer Fire Explorer is very useful. What I use it for, sometimes I have a USB drive. I can just quickly plug into my Fire Stick and I can install applications directly from that file explorer. So um, definitely worth it. Wireless file manager is similar. So of course for this one, we're gonna click on downloader, we're gonna turn it on. So once we turn that on, we're gonna go ahead and launch the downloader application. So downloader essentially is a web browser, it allows you to search um, websites, um, search for key turns, whatever you want to, and it allows you to get to those sites that allows you to install third-party applications. So uh, in this case, uh, the site that I'm gonna use is called APK Pure. All right, so normally you can go ahead and just go in here, search for whatever you're looking for, um, or you can go ahead and add it to your favorites. Those are the two methods. So we're just gonna search for APK Pure. All right, so this is gonna search directly from Google and um, you can see it right here, apkpure.com. If you just hit the menu button, you can go ahead and add it to your favorite. So let's just do that just to get out of the way. Save. So that way when you go to launch, download again you can go directly to it all right so from here guys it's pretty straightforward you are going to get some pop-ups just go ahead and close those out You're just going to go ahead and search all right so in this case we're just going to go ahead and test it on the opera uh, browser mini uh, all you need to do is just search for it or search browser or whatever application you're looking for in the top then we're going to go ahead and click on download all right, so there's the version, there's the date. All right, so you are gonna see some of this pop up at the top of the screen. Those are all ads. Uh, what we're gonna do is scroll down until you see the green bar, this bar right here. Click on it. You can see the size there is 40 megabytes. And we're gonna go ahead and click install. All 
All right, so app installed. We can hit done. And what you want to do is just delete the APKs. That's the installer file. You don't need it anymore. The app is already installed. So click delete and delete. And before we exit out of downloader, uh, remember that I did add it to my favorites. If I go to favorites, you can see I still have APK Pure saved. All right, so now we're going to go to our apps. And we're just going to look for Opera. All right, so there it is, Opera Mini. All right, privacy statements. You can go into settings if you want. You can enable your ad blocker. Turn on data saving. And uh, we'll just skip default browser for now. All right, so here we are in Opera, guys. Uh, you have the search up top, or you can put in your URL, or you can search for what you need. And then the bottom, you are going to have some other settings that you can play with. So that's how easy it is to, to jailbreak or sideload apps on your Fire TV device. Like I said, uh, this will work on Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Cube. Fire TV television set, and I just gave an example of Opera. I know there are a lot of different applications out there that you might want to search for instead of the Opera browser. In the comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if this process was easy to follow. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.